Now, the murder of a young Egyptian mother inside a courtroom in Germany last week has sparked angry protests in the Middle East. Marwa El Shabini was stabbed 18 times by a man on trial for racially abusing her. Yes, her funeral in her hometown of Alexandria turned into a huge demonstration with banners demanding retribution and denouncing what is widely believed to be an increasingly Islamophobic Europe. Well, Yvonne Ridley is a journalist who converted to Islam, joins us now along with Douglas Murray, the director of the independent think tank Centre for Social Cohesion. Very good morning to you both. Good morning. Yvonne, what does this terrible story tell us about the way that Islam is perceived? Is it a terrible in individual incident or does it tell us something more broadly? It's a very sad indictment on the attitude of the Western media. This story went right across the Muslim world mm. and if you went on to Facebook uh, there is a, a, a page for her with more than 300,000 people who've joined but the Western media just ignored it in sharp contrast to the Theo van Gogh killing a few years earlier which was headlines everywhere and you're right it was absolutely astonishing but yesterday we held a vigil outside the German Embassy in London there was lots of media there but all from the Arab uh, and, and Asian world uh, no mainstream media bothered to turn up and I think this is probably reflected in today's coverage in the newspapers yeah, because there, there isn't much coverage uh, of it that we can see so far in the papers. But of course, we're, we're covering it here uh, on the BBC. Douglas Murray, does it say something about, I mean, Yvonne says it's an indictment to the media. But does it say something about uh, views about uh, Islam? Or is this just a story about court security that went terribly wrong? Well, I don't think it tells us much about Islam. Um, I don't think as much one can extrapolate from it. Uh, the press routinely fails to cover important stories. Um, the Theo van Gogh uh, uh, murder, which uh, Yvonne mentioned, was called particularly shocking because the film director hacked down, beheaded in the streets of Amsterdam for making a film. Um, there are routinely stories that aren't covered. I mean, this, this week, just, just a couple of days ago, uh, the uh, a gang of 30 young Muslim men who killed a Jew, tortured and killed a young Jewish man in Paris, who were sentenced uh, to prison for that murder. That got very, very little coverage as well. I think we have to be very careful about trying to extrapolate sort of uh, huge stories from things like this. This tragic and appalling, brutal murder in, in a German courtroom uh, is very shocking to anyone. But we have to be very careful, first of all, that we don't try to claim that this is indicative of, of any kind of wider, wider thing. I, I, th I think it doesn't tell us very much about the very complex uh, relationship mm -hmm. which is ongoing between uh, 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 Muslims and European society as a whole. And secondly, of course, be very careful that we don't fall into the trap of uh, this story and ones like it being used by demagogues across the Middle East to divert attention from problems within their own societies, uh, problems which are very significant, particularly, of course, in societies like Iran at the moment. Mm. She was so, defending her faith. <laughs> and, you know, OK, we can move off from uh, that particular incident in Germany, but we have the uh, slaughter of the Uyghurs, the Muslim Uyghurs, in China. Now, if the Uyghurs were Christian, I think we would have seen or heard a lot more. Douglas has made reference to Iran, but uh, at the G8 conference, the Chinese leader left early to, because of this, uh, this unrest in his country. Uh, Barack Obama didn't say one single word about, and hundreds, literally hundreds of Uyghurs have been killed by government troops. And yet again, there is no outpouring in the Western media. Had the Uyghurs been Christian or a different faith, I think we would have seen uh, something well, different. Um, we we'll have to beg to differ on this, Yvonne. Uh, you, of course, work for Press TV, which uh, is uh, an arm of the Iranian government. The Iranian government has been murdering Muslims in recent weeks. Uh, the Iranian government has been doing so with impunity and without any criticism from the channel which you work for. Um, I think it's quite rich to come on and complain about not complaining about, about the murder of Muslims in China and fail to complain about the murder of uh, Muslims in Iran. We're talking about something completely uh, some, some of, some different. Some of us continue to believe that it's important to condemn the killing of Muslims, whether it's committed by Muslims or non-Muslims. Can I just, I, I, to draw us back to, to the issue uh, of, of this woman in the court, do you take um, any comfort, on from the fact that she was, I mean, obviously what happened was dreadful, but she was in court and somebody was being prosecuted for uh, racial abuse. 
And is that in itself a sign that that sort of thing is taken seriously? It was on her initiative. She was um, suing him for defamation. And again, when people like uh, Douglas speak out, uh, and, and I have to, t I, I saw an interview you did just a few days ago about the burqa, saying that it's uh, been very critical about it. When people like Douglas speak out about the way that Muslim women dress, about the burqa, about the niqab, about the veil, what always happens is you fuel and radicalize these idiots out there who are racist, who are Islamophobic, and they see women like me, they see women uh, like Marwa, and they think that they can just attack them and verbally and that's verbally a, abuse that's them. A quite a serious physically. charge. Well, it, to it, it, it is. Let, so let's let and, Douglas and respond you to will that. see every time, every time there is a story about the burqa or the niqab or the veil um, uh, critical towards Muslim women, you will see through the Islamic that, Human Rights on, Commission. Yvonne. We, figures yeah. increasing on we, attacks we on haven't Muslims. Got much time. Well, this just, I think is important to respond to that. First of all, as I, as I repeat, I've uh, condemned this. Of course, anyone, any decent person would condemn the, the, a brutal thing like this. And I think it's incredibly important that people do not fall into the trap of thinking that thugs and racists, which some of us repeatedly condemn, have anything to do with the perfectly legitimate criticism of forms of Islam which are themselves fascistic, which are themselves racist, themselves bigoted. We have the right to stand Your between opinion. these we have the right to stand between these two extremes and say we would like neither. People like Yvonne seem to be able to make a compromise. I dispute that idea. Douglas, Marianne Devon really unfortunately we have to end it there, but thank you very much for your thank contributions. Thank you very much indeed for your views.